Here we are with our two finalists for best luxury vehicle of the year. Best luxury vehicle is such a tough segment because there are so many good luxury cars and SUVs out there. So it's kind of surprising that we came down to these two, but I think we got it right. Yeah, it's kind of a different uh, dichotomy between the two cars. I should throw out the caveat that we capped this at $150,000. We made that the ceiling, but that still makes a lot of sense because you can buy so many good luxury vehicles for under that cap. Yeah, we don't have anything crazy expensive, but the Mercedes does get close to that cap, yeah, surprisingly, but you still get a lot of car for the money. We're looking at performance, technology, but also the refinement and the comfort of these two cars, especially with how they handle on the road, right? Yeah, refinement and comfort is a big deal, and I think both of these cars do that exceptionally well. Let's take a closer look at them. Let's do it. A newer brand and a newer car within that brand, the Genesis G80. The Genesis G80, yep, it is a brand new vehicle from a luxury automaker that's only a few years old at this point. Yeah, Genesis is newer to the game, but once they started, they have not stopped, and they're coming out with hit after hit after hit. Normally we talk about the crossovers, but today it's all about this sedan. Yeah, I think the G80 is actually their best product. And you like do? you said, they, yeah, they have hit after hit, but the G80 just really ties it all together and it looks phenomenal. This kind of started the two lines motif that we see on all the Genesis vehicles now. There's a massive shield grill right here. It's the absolute corporate face for Genesis, including the wing logo right on top. Do you think this is also the best looking Genesis in the range? I absolutely do. It just looks really, really Really good. This spec in particular, this has the larger of the two engines. This is the six cylinder versus the four cylinder. Yeah, you could go for the base 2.5 liter turbocharged engine, which is a good engine, but we really prefer this twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. On the road where so many different luxury vehicles try to be quick and sort of co uh, composed and fast, this has the different approach. This is a lot more relaxed, a lot more floaty. Yeah, a lot of companies are trying to do the sporty thing too much. And I think Genesis does a good job of pulling back and saying, we just want to make the best luxury vehicle that we can. And the G80 does a good job of that. For me, the best part of the car, you said it's exterior design. I think it's interior. The, the huge, huge center touchscreen. That has a cool little scrolly wheel that can control either way. And then there's just this awesome array of like nice materials. Uh, to either side of you, and then a huge piece of wood that goes across the dash. They just nailed this. Yeah, interior. the interior is gorgeous. I think they really nailed the interior. And just like other products within the Hyundai Genesis family, you get all the same pieces of technology that you want. That includes a fantastic Lexicon audio system, uh, highway driving assist, and the Genesis as well. Yep. It's just a nicely composed vehicle on the road. Yeah, Kia, Hyundai, and Genesis, they have that highway driving assist that we really, really like. And for a luxury vehicle like this, it's something you absolutely want but it has its work cut out for it up against the S-Class. Let's yep. take a look at this car. The king of the Mercedes-Benz range is back. It's the S-Class. This is the king of full-size luxury sedans and it's better than ever for this year. I think it's also worth mentioning right off the bat, this is the highest scoring vehicle we've rated this year. Yeah, this is essentially the best car we've driven all year based on our scoring system and I think it lives up to it. So the finer points of this vehicle, this is an S580, which is the V8. Talk to me about the engine and the performance here. So twin turbo, four liter V8 on this with EQ Boost, which is their mild hybrid assist system. 496 horsepower. It's not necessarily a performance sedan, but you definitely feel that power when you get on it. As soon as you put your foot in it, it feels like it has more than 500 horsepower, which is already an exorbitant figure, but just the size of this vehicle, it absolutely scoots. Oh, absolutely. And you get something cool for this here, which is rear wheel steering, yeah. which kind of shrinks the car for such a big vehicle, has a really great turning radius. It feels smooth in the corners. It's just a really good performance. And handles itself kind of smaller than it is, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we mentioned that the Genesis drives and kind of floats along the road. This does far and away better, even though it is far and away more money than yeah. the Genesis. Um, where they sell me on this car is the interior specifically, because it's bananas. <laughs> They, they have gone absolutely wild with the interior. It's crazy. The, the leather is amazing. You get the quilted seats. You get the two almost captain's chairs yeah. type seats in the back, both in the second row and in the first row. Yeah, the ambient lighting specifically, especially at night, it just lights up like Las Vegas. You see all the it's lights. Gorgeous. Borderline overkill if you ask me, but you can configure it so many different ways and colors. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, I think so too. And then you get that big infotainment screen that sort of juts up from the middle of the console. 
and it has MBUX, which again is one of just our favorite infotainment systems of all time. It's been good for a while and we've gotten so used to having those twin displays right next to each other. What are your thoughts on them moving it uh, to a more vertical center display, kind of rethinking it from the ground? I like it. It looks prettier and you still get the digital cluster in front of you with a new 3D sort of effect, which is really cool. Yeah. You get the augmented reality head-up display. You get the Hey Mercedes voice control, which is awesome for turning on the massage seats. It's just one of the most tech-focused vehicles out there. I think you're totally right. So now let's pick a winner. Let's do it. Well, are we even surprised that the Mercedes won this? You know, the Genesis is great. We shouldn't just immediately assume that this was going to win, but Mercedes went back to the drawing board with the S-Class and made it way better than it's ever been. Yeah, it's the S-Class elevated to a level that we've never seen it before. I think this is the category we had to fight the least amount about. Is that fair to say? I think so. It's a phenomenal car and honestly, the best car you can get at that high price point against all of its competitors. Yeah, I think so. It's the winner. Best yep. luxury car of the year, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class.